What's going on guys, Pack Daddy here, bringing you the last big pack opening we're probably going to be doing for NHL 19. It's Offensive Team of the Year, and I know you guys are saying at home, Pack Daddy, you forgot about Community Team of the Year. It's not, it doesn't mean anything to me. Offensive Team of the Year is where the big guys come out, it's where they get their reward. Community Team of the Year almost feels like a participation trophy at this point, so whatever happens in that Community Team of the Year, it's just going to happen. But it's Monday right now, the Monday before Community Team of the Year comes out, so we still got Offensive Team of the Year players in packs right now. That's the Alexander Ovechkin, Nikita Kucherov, and apparently Claude Lemieux and Darren McCarty, Ice Friendship player, isn't that nice. It's April Fools, it's still out whether or not where is he? This PK Subban is an April Fool's joke or not? I don't see why it wouldn't be, but then again, it's the first time we haven't had an actual legend card as a monthly login player. There's a couple of prime times out, some Philadelphia Flyers, uh, Trey, uh, playoff predictor cards, and there's a whole lot of 90s in this one. Nicholas Baxter, Monahan, Bobrovsky, Artemi Panarin. Bobrovsky has been absolutely lighting it up, and I'm scared that whoever's going to face them in the first round might run into a hot... Sergei Bobrovsky. So hopefully that's not the Tampa Bay Lightning, but it's still team of the year. It's world offensive team of the year players. And we're looking for Kucherov, Victor Hedman, Andre Vasilevsky. I mean, there's also guys like Ovechkin, Eric Carlson, Evgeny Malkin. I think Miko Ranton. Those guys might be in packs too, but we're looking for those Tampa players. We got the Tampa swag on right now. We got the hat and the sweater going on and we're opening up $300 worth of packs right now in this one it's we're going out the bank we did 200 the week before 100 for the first week of team of the year now we're full, finishing up with the big three sheet what should we do we need points <laughs> so we're going to start things off by how we did it last time we're going to go ahead with the premium world offensive team of the year packs we're going to do 12 of these guys and then verdict is out on whether or not we're going to do 12 extreme packs that would be absolutely sick we didn't even get any Team of the Year players in this one, though we did open six packs last time we did it. We're going to kick things off real quick with the World Offensive Team of the Year. And even if we can't pull a player, we're going to have enough collectibles, I'm guessing, and coins to be able to go ahead and buy our own set of two random players. Come on, let's make us not have to do that and get something awesome in the first pack. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? The first pack, we're getting a Victor Hedman base card. Last time we did this, we got two Steven Stamkoses. If they dangle this Victor Hedman in front of me the entire time, this will be the last pack opening of an NHL 19. You can bet on it. That's just mean, man. That's just mean. A Victor Hedman base card when his team of the year is out in the first pack we open for the offense, the European or world team of the year, whatever it's going to be. We're skipping the animation here. We're getting a Pecorine 84, Patrick Hornquist, and nothing else. All right, we started going downhill fast after that second one. That's not the direction we want to be heading in. We're going through these team of the weeks. We're going to slow down this pack opening that we're doing right here. And just trickle through this pack. Reveal these guys slowly because I know there's a nice black card back here for us. Jake Gensel. Ooh, he's got a team of the year out, but unfortunately, it's for competitive seasons. All right, we haven't gotten a team of the year collectible yet. Through three of these packs, 3,000 points is down the tube. At least some of these packs aren't like 1,500 points. I know the extreme packs used to be 3,000. I can't remember if it was this year or last year. Come on, make something happen here. All right, uh, offensive team of the year, the best pull we've gotten so far. It should have been a team of the year, Victor Hedman, though. A little salty about that, can you tell? All right, let's get one of those Claude Lemieux or the Darren McCarty's. I mean, I'm happy with an, a 94 if we could pull one of those guys in one of these packs. Skip the animation. Come on. Flip to the back. Another Team of the Week collectible. This guy had some super shaggy hair, just like Alexander Ovechkin's. Getting my hopes up again, but two packs in a row. Collectibles, that's a nice streak. All right, we are five packs in. We are almost halfway through the first... Benjamin that we spent on these packs. Come on. We're skipping the animation yet. Are you kidding me guys? Oh my gosh 285s though. That's got to be a hot start to the pack. What's gonna be else in this one? I mean the quick sell value is high because of those two guys But what if there's a team of the year in the back we get another team of the year collectible so far That's the best pack we've seen here. That is a sick way. We're getting some good pulls now. We're on a bit of a heater Don't slow down all right, we're halfway through, and what do we have to show for it right now besides a heart rate of like 80? It's not even peaking over 100. I'd love to see what the heart rate was at if we can pull one of these Team of the Year players. Here we go. Skip the animation. It's giving us good themes. Elias Patterson. Oh, 
come on 78 diamond card a claw dude we're getting so many 85s just break through give me one of those 99 cards come on all right we've done too many exploding packs we got to take this one just a little bit slower here with the next pack we got five of these guys left to go before we move on to some extreme packs and then who knows what we're gonna do at that point all right, Andre Sequeira getting a gold rare here. Come on, show me a black card. Oh, it's another offensive team there. We need 18 more of those guys to get an absolute, to get a 100% guaranteed team of the year player. But make it this pack. Come on. All right, my nerves are building just thinking about this one. We're going to do an explode through pack revealing everything that's in this one last time we did a pack like this we got a chris pro another freaking closure are you kidding me give me somebody good tyson berry that's like two packs in a row we've gotten a closure maybe i don't know two out of three packs or something we got another collectible so at least there's that every time we get one of these collectibles we're really only losing about twenty thousand coins it's sad to say that but at least it's better than a pack where we get nothing and lose all 50k but dude, we're getting a ton of 85s. Come on, just break through. Give me one of those good cards. All right, that was suspenseful. That was fun, and I loved every part of it. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. Hopefully, not seeing 85 there, but like a 99 towards the back. What are we gonna get? Oh my gosh, a Sean Couturier. I saw Brad Marchand. Another collectible. Guys, we are getting on a bit of a heater here. Come on, we gotta get through eventually. One more of these things. We're gonna give him one more shot. If it does not work, we're gonna stop doing this and wait for the extreme packs to do it again. Another collectible. Oh my gosh, I'm never, at least I'm gonna get collectibles. So, all right, it could be so much worse than that. Why am I getting a coach? I don't need coaches, it's April. All right, it is the last of the premium packs that we've got to start this one out. This is, I think this is where we got the Daniel card. I still have him on my team. He's rocking fourth line right now. Can we get another one? James Neal, Anthony Mantha, Troy Stetcher, Drew Dowdy, offensive team of the year collectible. Gosh. At least we don't have to worry about not getting offensive team of the year collectibles. Hopefully by the end of this one, we're not gonna have to buy many off the auction house. Well, that was fun. Time for more. We're leaving the packs and we're coming back in. That way Ia thinks we're a complete new person to this whole extreme World Offensive Team of the Year pack. We're just gonna explode through this entire thing. Oh my gosh, do I wanna look at it? I do wanna look at it. Can I spot anything? Oh my God, I saw Kucherov in there, but it's not anything that I wanted. I saw a Team of the Year collectible in there. Paul Statsny, Pavel Buchnevich, a collectible, Nikita Kucherov, and a second collectible. Holy crap, at least. No, it is freaking World Team of the Year. I was going to say, oh, at least he was next week. Nope, that's another one I should have been able to get. Are you kidding me? This is just cruel, boys. This is just cruel. Another one of these extremes. And once we get through this $100 on these extreme packs, we're going to do something with the last one. I don't know. Figure out which one worked better for us. Oh, my gosh. A silver collectible. We're downgrading here. Zabinajad, another offensive team of the year collectible. Somebody at the back. We're getting a Seth Jones. Oh, my gosh. This is so disheartening. This is so disheartening. I don't know what method to do. We're gonna let you guys see this one. Just you guys. All right, here you go. Freaking <laughs> Gosh, I've uncovered every single Tampa Bay Lightning who's a team of the year. God, why does this game hate me? Oh my gosh, really? That was the only gold rare player in that entire pack. Oh, just kill me now. And I got two freaking silver collectibles on top of that one. This extreme packs are so taking me off. I really don't want to keep opening up these extreme packs, but I said I would, and that is the path that we're taking. We didn't even get a freaking collectible during that last pack. So we're busting through this entire thing. Oh my gosh, I see a freaking hot alumni card. Of all things, I saw two collectibles in there as well. Ryan Ellis, oh my gosh. Howie Moretz, all right, at least it's like one of the best legend cards that you can get at a normal pace. Um, two team of the year collectibles, but yikes. All right, two more of these extreme packs, and if I see another Tampa player, I might just give up on this pack opening. All together, we almost have a half a million coins ready to go, ready to buy the rest of these collectibles. We're skimming through it once again. Did I see a team of the year player at the start of that? I'm not sure. 
kind of nervous right now. <sighs> Who's a freaking collectible yet again? Oh my gosh, I hate extreme packs. We gotta do the blow through. We have to do the blow through method. Oh, because when we don't, bad things happen. I'm not gonna look. Yes, I am. Come on. Oh my god, we get the mustache just giving me the virtual middle finger at the end of Brad Marchand. I didn't see the start of it. We're only getting one team there in Anthony Sterling. Like, gosh, dang it. Oh. Why? Why me? Maybe if I had the fact that I'm a Tampa fan, they're gonna turn these regular cards into Team Near cards. Hey, I think a good thing about this though is that this is also an expensive jersey to sell. We gotta find the positives in these packs because this is really hurting my soul. All right, here we go. One more time. I should literally title this, I bought a brand new Xbox One pack opening and I got nothing to show for it. This is pretty much how much you can buy a new Xbox for and I'm wasting it all on these Team of the Year points, but I don't know what to do. We're gonna do another extreme pack because maybe, you know, the seventh extreme pack is what was holding us back last time. And in that extreme pack was a Team of the Year player. We're gonna see it right here. I saw an Oliver Ekman Larson 89 prime time. Tell me I'm wrong. I saw it right there. All right, so that's a pretty beauty of a card. All right, that's not a bad card. I think that's one of the better cards we've gotten. We got two more collectibles, but good lord, I need a team of the year player bad. I feel like we're also approaching that limit where we're gonna have 22 collectibles and not need to buy anything off the auction house. We're gonna go back and do two premiums now. Maybe go ahead and do like another extreme, then two premiums. Two premiums and then end with an extreme. How about that one? Athenasiu, come on, dude. All right, maybe I'm not gonna do these things. <laughs> They're so bad. All right, if I don't get a good pull in this next premium pack, that's it. That's the last time I'm gonna do a premium pack. And then we're just gonna do four extremes to end out this pack opening because that's gonna be most fun for me. Premium extreme, premium team of the year pack. Let's see, what do you got for me? Aho, dad enough, nothing, really. All right. Yeah, all right, see, not even a freaking play. Well, get out of your premium. All right, you heard the man. We're doing four more extreme packs to finish this one out. Good Lord, give me a team for your player that I don't have to go ahead and buy the set. I mean, I'm gonna do the set anyway. You know I am. Come on. Collectible number one, collectible number two, team of the year player number one. <sighs> you hate to see it. You hate to see it. All right, these extreme packs have been steadily giving us two collectibles. I feel like we might actually have more than 22 by the time this is over. We got three packs left. Pretty much three packs to round up NHL 19 with all these pack openings we're going to be doing. I saw one right there. Show me another one or a player of Kenny Kuznetsov. Oh my gosh, Nicholas Backstrom. Dude, can I just get a freaking player? Literally got three Capitals players. Oh my gosh. Can I just have Ovechkin, please? He gave me everybody else on the dang team. Just give me Ovechkin now. And I don't want a base Ovechkin. Let me say that because I know he is gonna just fill their pack with a base Ovechkin just so I could say I told you so. If I get it in this pack, oh my gosh. I'll lose it. I'll freaking lose my mind. We're getting a Ricard, Raquel, Peter, Budai, Jamie Bent, Kevin Hayes, another collectible. Dude, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have $300 worth of packs and not get anything. Let that sink in. All right, here we go. The last team of the year pack that we're gonna be opening besides that choice pack we're gonna open just here in a second. Come on. Win that final year. All right, finish strong for me. The last pack we're gonna see from Louis Erickson. It's been a fun ride. I want to make sure I put these in the right set. Well, the offensive team of the year choice set. Okay. It's been a fun ride at doing all of these pack openings. And we're still going to be doing the uh, $50 tier because we got to figure out if the uh, silver plus or the gold plus are going to be any better than the bronze pack. That's surprisingly been the best thing so far. All right. 22 world offensive team of the year choice set. Yes. Last time we did one of these, we got a John Devarius 97. Overall, we didn't even get Daniel Carr. We did $100 more in packs. I am just miffed about that one. Unopened packs. Here we go. This pack contains one of two World Team of the Year player items. Can I get a Kucherov, a Vechkin, maybe a Malkin, a Carlson? I mean, dude, is Carlson technically defensive team here? I don't know. Maybe a Vasilevsky? That would be super cool, too. 
first player is what? Don't shaft me, don't shaft me, don't shaft me! Artemi Panarin, all right. Right direction. Follow this up with something spectacular. Victor Hedman, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Who do I take? One sec. I'm gonna guess Artemi Panarin and Victor Hedman. What? Oh my gosh. All right. Survey says Hedman's more expensive. Even though he doesn't have the burner synergies, Hedman's just an absolute stud. Why did I ever doubt the Tampa fan? It's because I turned the hat backwards, you know? Strategy. All right, Victor Hedman, you are mine. That now means I'm gonna have 297 Tampa Bay Lightning defenders sitting on my line. All of a sudden, Mikhail Sergachev, for no reason at all, becomes a 97 overall. Defensive team of the year, what? Didn't even do anything, he had a better year last year, but I'm not complaining because I got his evolution card as a loyal Tampa fan. He sat as an 83 the entire year, then I wake up, 97, how are ya? But this 97 team of the year, Victor Hedman, is an absolute beauty out there. I mean, slap shot accuracy and wrist shot accuracy, use a little work, 85, not the best, but what are you gonna do? I mean, he's an absolute monster out there, 6'6"? Six, 6'6", six? Six, six. Swedish monster, thanks for coming. All right, if you guys wanna see what a team looks like, after you open this many packs, here we go. So we got the 99 Nathan McKinnon, we got Tavares, we got Mike Medano. We're still rocking the Patty King. One of the best shots you'll ever see. Mark Messi, Daniel Carr. This could easily be Ray Ferraro or something like that. I put Tepo Newman over here on the winger. He's still an absolute beast. Joe Sackett, Kucherov. Um, I still think it's Movember. <laughs> Movember, Taylor Hall, Neuendijk, and Ferraro on defense. We got Buffalo. We got Pronger. Pulled him in a gold pack for doing the daily logins. We get 97 Sergachev, Tim Horton, and then we get Shea Weber, Luke Richardson. This guy's an absolute beast on the blue line. If you guys, I mean, I don't know if you could say he's cheap because there's not many of them out there. I had to have him on the team. He's an absolute freak. Him, Dustin, Buffalo are absolute monsters out there, and they will absolutely paralyze the other team so that's what we got oh yeah in net we got a couple of studs ron hextall and grant fear i mean these guys are just absolutely silly out here but thanks for watching this episode of pack daddy spending way too much on packs but thanks for watching this one this is the last team of the year pack opening we're gonna do probably the last pack opening we're gonna do of this magnitude once i said two more 50 dollars series probably coming sometime next week we did manage to get ourselves a team of the year unfortunately it came from the sets Packs are so much harder this year, but the value of the players in the packs are skyrocketing still. So I guess that's the good trade-off. It doesn't help me though, because I get no good cards in these packs, which absolutely sucks, but it's at least fun for me to do it. I hope you guys are enjoying it at home. If you guys did enjoy it and you guys did enjoy not spending any of your money, but watching me spend my money, smash that thumbs up for me so we can keep doing these ones into next year. Let me know in the comments section throughout all of this, the best pull you've gotten for Team Deer. I'm going to try and be more, a, little bit, a little bit more involved in the comment section. I've kind of gotten lazy and not gone back into there. But if you guys could, smash that thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And turn on those notifications. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. But hey, playoffs are coming soon. Team of the Year happened. Life's all right. Thanks for coming, boys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. This is Pac Daddy. I'm out.